I'm Nini and today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable little unicorn stickers using Inkscape and my brother's Scan and Cut. Okay, so jumping straight into it, we want to find an image. So I've just gone to Google here, I've typed in unicorn PNG. Now these images are not my images obviously because they're on Google so you've got to be careful with copyright laws. This is just for a tutorial and for a little girl so these are for resale so it's fine all right so I found an image that I want and you want to make sure it's a PNG and you want to save it make sure you save it to your computer where you'll be able to relocate it and I'll show you why we want a PNG in just a moment all right so opening up the Inkscape program you want to bring the image in by going to file import find the image that you've saved and open it. Now saving it as a PNG means that we've saved it, oh click OK, means that we've saved it with a transparent background so that's just quite easy to resize as we want which I'm about to do here and then you know print and cut it's a lot easier to do it that way but there will be times that even though you've saved it and it said it was a PNG it doesn't come out with a transparent background so I'll quickly show you how to do that here. Just going to file import and I'm going to grab an image I know has got images in the background. Click OK. As you can see this has got a checkered background. Now that's not going to print out properly and cut. It's going to get confused with all those boxes. So what we want to do is you go to path, trace bitmap. Now make sure that the live previews on and you need to mess around with the brightness threshold I find 0.91 to be the best now that image is going to be full of white spots and we need it to be completely black so we need to go up to path break apart and it's going to make the whole image black right click and group them all together don't press anything else right click group all right select the whole image and we're going to cut that black part out of the image behind so right click and set clip. As you can see we've got nice clean lines there, a perfect print and cut image. Just going to resize it to fit on the paper. Now that could have been a bit fast so once I've put this on the page I'll do it again. So once again file, import, Find the image that you want. I'm purposely grabbing one with a checkered background. Okay. Now that one's a bit small, so I'll just resize it by dragging it larger. Okay, once again, path, same steps. Path, break, uh, trace bitmap, and adjust the settings and okay. Then path break apart, right click, group, select both images, right click, set clip. Alright, so I'm just going to resize this image to fit it onto the page. Now as I'm trying to place it around, it's sticking corner to corner on the other one. So I'm just going to turn that off by clicking this button on the top right hand corner. And now I can move it around more freely. You want to adjust the images to how you want them to print out. I also ended up adding some stars and a name onto this one. But just for example, you want to print this image. So you're going to go file and print. It's going to print the page that you see. So I'm using my HP NV500 series here just because I like the way it prints out my stickers. But when you're printing out stickers, I'm using a glossy sheet so I need to adjust my settings. So I'm going to go to preferences when that loads. <laughs> Alright, so I need to go up to the paper quality and adjust the settings. So I need to tell it that I'm printing on glossy paper and that I want the best print quality. Because these are stickers, you don't want them to be liney. So apply and print. 
Now you can see those lines are quite crisp and that's perfect for cutting around. This is my brother scanning cut and oh, I love it. It is so good. Alright, so I grab my old mat here and I'm going to place the picture that we've printed down onto the mat. Now my mat's a bit old so I need to actually spray it with a low tack adhesive but I'm just placing the paper onto it and I'm going to load it into the machine. Take my handy dandy stick and we're just going to scan and direct cut because we want it to cut straight from the image. I generally just save mine to the machine itself and press start and we're going to let that scan in. Now that can take a minute or two to scan and recognize, but once that comes up, I'll show you the screen and what I'm about to do here. All right, so here we are at the screen after it's been scanned. Now, as you can see all around it, because it's an old mat, we don't want those cut lines. So I'm just going to resize it and crop it to the area that I have printed. Now I can see a couple of the ones on there aren't that great, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead with preview and I'm going to press OK. Now, sometimes you can fix those cut lines by increasing the outline. So just increasing it by 2 millimeters here. Now, a couple of them are better, but there are still some on there that I don't like. So I'm going to go and edit those. Now, the first time I did this, I did it wrong. I forgot the settings I was in, so I couldn't actually go in and group them. As you see, I'm trying to do here. But... I eventually get back to it and I've just got the normal one highlighted and I just trash it. I'll go ahead later and do these by themselves so that I can make sure that they're all grouped in together. But that's pretty much how we want it. Um, so I'm going to just keep clicking OK. Now I'm going to select for it to cut. One of my patterns was out of the area but I just went OK. I'll do that later. And I've got my settings as half cut is off and the blade's pressure is set at auto. So now I'm just going to let the machine do its job and cut the images for me. Alright, so we're all done now. And in true Nini style, I've done this the most awkward way possible. But usually you would unload the map to take the stickers off. But I'm just doing this so that I can get it in the camera angle and show you. It's nicely cut around the images that I want. And it's given them that die cut sticker look by giving it a white outline. So as you can see here, oh, look at him, he's so cute. Nice little shiny sticker. And with an adhesive backing on it. And just pull the rest of them off of the mat and you're all done. Thank you for watching. Make sure you package it up all pretty and you've got a gorgeous little gift for someone there. Thank you so much for watching and feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Bye!